हेलो एवरीवन यू आर ऑल वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 968 एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट एस बी आर और ड्यूना रबर पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट वन आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस सम वेरी वेरी सिंपल पॉइंट्स टू रिमेम्बर अबाउट ब्यूटाडाइन स्टेरिन कम्बिनेशन ऑफ रबर that is called sbr rubber and what are the chemical constituents and how different type of uh, chemicals they can improve the process can improve the temperature pressure can play important role for the quality of the rubber and here i in that continuation i am going to discuss further more some simple explanation about the sbr rubber as i have already told you that the two conditions are there one condition where if temperature is high that is called high temperature rubber and the other process where temperature is low that is called cold process rubber so in two conditions these sbr rubbers are produced and mostly those which are produced in high temperature rubber they differ from cold process rubber in the sense that uh, they are stain and their quality uh, elasticity they are different from each other and also uh, the vulcanization plays very important role in sbr rubber the type of chemical you are using like either sulfur or organic peroxide also we call uh, oil carbon black rubber and that is be all about here carbon black and some mineral oil petroleum oil is used from 20 to 30% in that circumstances <coughs> the sbr rubber uh, will be uh, having more emulsifying property once some mineral oil is added and also carbon black plays important role in its strength and uh, elasticity so such rubbers are also known as carbon black oil sbr rubber so there are some other chemicals many chemicals are in mode which are added and substituted and they are responsible of improving the quality of sbr rubber so all those i am going to give one by one so these points are given here some very very important points about the elasticity and its strength quality which can be compared well with natural rubber are given here uh, number 1 the polymerization of sbr rubber at low temperature produces a cold or low temperature rubber so once that sbr rubber which is produced at low temperature is called cold rubber or low temperature rubber which has higher molecular weight and gives a vulcanized rubber of high strength and better resistance to wear so once that rubber is we are getting that is at a low temperature it will be having higher molecular weight and also it can be vulcanized to a very good uh, high strength uh, better resistance to wear uh, the most commonly used ratio is 70 parts Uh, butadiene and 30 parts of styrene uh, that is uh, 70 parts by weight of butadiene to 30 parts by weight of styrene uh, further increase in the styrene content uh, reduces the elasticity of the rubber so that is very important that's why the percentage of uh, styrene is less sometimes it is 25% the metal 27% maximum thirty because if in case you are increasing the percentage of styrene uh, in rubber its elasticity is reduced so in order to maintain good elasticity you have to be very careful in the percentage and part of styrene addition in butadiene and uh, number two other type of uh, butadiene uh, styrene uh, ratio rubber is also produced and that is uh, carbon black iron rubber in this carbon black iron rubber sbr 
uh, where we are adding some petroleum oil that is called mineral oil uh, from 10 to 30 percent. So the other type of butadiene saline rubbers have also been produced. Uh, for example, carbon black oil rubber that is called carbon black oil rubber means here carbon black is added as well as some mineral oil is also added. Uh, rubber has been manufactured with an oil filler, carbon black filler and containing both oil filler and carbon black mixture. In order to produce this type of rubber, uh, 10 to 30 percent mineral oil, I mean petroleum oil uh, is added uh, to synthetic latex so as to form a and immersion. The rubber containing iron filler is soft and pliable, mixing the latex with the highly dispersed carbon black or with an carbon black oil immersion. Either you add carbon black or the immersion of carbon black in oil. That is in the form of immersion. And before coagulation produces a rubber with high uh, resistance. Number three, rubbers with structure known as one four structure. If we say that this rubber is one four structure, it is clear indication that here the units are arranged in head and tail fashion. I mean, one tail is one and head is four. So head and tail fashion, that is called one four structure of the rubber and uh, rubber that is uh, the rubber with structure known as 1,4 uh, polybutadiene rubbers can be produced by solution polymerization and using a special catalyst and such catalysts are either lithium or lithium alkyl or complex organometallic compounds and catalyst in the rubber form the link are joined uh, at the one four sides in bracket I have given it means that it is in head and tail fashion. Uh, the structure of the chain of these rubbers is responsible of their excellent mechanical properties and that property is its dynamic and elastic. So here, number four, uh, is starting with different type of uh, chemical substances which are added so that uh, the quality of rubber is improved, its elasticity, its toughness, and the process of fertilization, also the aging of the rubber. All these ingredients are chemical substances that are given here. So number four, uh, the manufacture of rubber articles consists of the following three important stages. First stage is that is preparation of the rubber composition. Second stage is that is vulcanization. And third one is farming the <coughs> articles. So they are these three are very important stages. The preparation of composition where you are going to add different type of all chemicals which are which are mentioned here. And then the vulcanization means sulfur and some other uh, substituents. And the third one is uh, farming the article finally. Uh, the rubber compounding, this process is called rubber compounding where you are adding all these chemicals. Consists the following operations. A. Preparation of gum and other ingredients. That is important step how to prepare the gum and other ingredients are added into it. Uh, B, preparation of the rubber composition and that is mixing. The preparation of uh, rubber composition means how you are going to mix the gum material, the oil, carbon black and sulfur or organic peroxides, all these different type of ingredients that is called uh, uh, 
preparation of rubber composition and C is the formation of the mixture into sheets. Finally, uh, how to dry into sheets. Number five, here all the uh, chemical substances are uh, discussed. Uh, the various organic and mineral ingredients are added to gum. And what are those different ingredients? The mixture must be properly composed to obtain the high quality articles uh, with the required properties. The main components on which the property of the rubber depends in addition to rubber, the following materials are added to improve the quality of the rubber and added to the composition. The first one that is called vulcanizing agent. So first you are adding into it that composition means when you are preparing the uh, mixture of that gum to prepare the good quality rubber, the first is that is called vulcanizing agents and the vulcanizing agents are sulfur and organic peroxides. The second one is vulcanization accelerator. To accelerate the vulcanization, we have to add some chemicals and those vulcanization accelerators are diphenyl guanidine and Diphenylgonadine and dithiobis benzathiazole and tetramethyl thiaura medisulfide and that is also known as theorem and then mercapto benzathiazole. So these are all accelerators which are very important compounds to accelerate the vulcanization. Then the next step is that is softener. We have to add the softener to make the rubber soft and the softeners are dibutyl thylate, fatty acids and vaseline, pine tar and uh, rubrex. Rubrex means it is an uh, asphalt. The next uh, ingredients are paraffin anti-ager. So paraffin anti-ager is your phenol, wax, uh, phenyl beta, naphthylamine. Then other ingredient is that is active fillers. What are the active fillers we are writing? Most commonly is carbon black, silica, and white zinc, and kaolin. These are the main fillers and also some pigments. And increase in the strength of the bonds between the rubbers and the particles. What we have added uh, of the active fillers increases the strength of the uh, rubber articles. The ingredients added to the uh, composition improve the technological properties of the rubber mixture and the quality of the product form. Sulfur is the chemically joined to the linear rubber molecule. Actually sulfur's main role is that once it is linear molecule where head and tail fashion uh, the isoprene or butadiene are arranged. So once we are adding the sulfur, the main rule of this sulfur is to make it cross. That is called vulcanization and that gives strength and uh, we can say uh, toughness to make it strong, durable. That is by the addition of sulfur, that linear molecule will be into a uh, branched one and that is the role of uh, sulfur chemically joined to the linear rubber molecules and cross-link them into the three-dimensional uh, rubber structure at temperature 130 to 160 degrees centigrade and the pressure should be maintained from 3 to 6 atmosphere. So once at temperature 130 degrees centigrade to 160 degrees centigrade at 6 atmospheric pressure, your sulfur will be added and it will cross link and will give you three dimensional structure of linear molecule of the rubber and that will give the good quality and that is strength, elasticity and toughness.
so with this i will stop uh in the next lecture i am going to discuss some other about uh once again thank you very much for watching the lecture